from South Derbyshire District Council's Environmental Education Project at Rossiston Forestry Centre and I'm going to show you a few things that you could do in your garden today. So today's garden challenge is going to be the garden weaving. So you can do this several different ways. If you've got a bit of Easter egg box, this is what I've used, or a bit of cereal packet, um, all you need to do is cut some little slots on either side of your cardboard. You need to make sure you've got your wool, pop it through the slot at the end and then just get a little bit of sellotape, I've already stuck some down here, and then just stick the end to the back of the card. Keep that as your top surface rather than the one with the picture on. And then we're just going to go from each side, putting the wool through each of the slots. But don't, don't pull it too tight because bend the cardboard, especially if it's thin cardboard. So you keep doing that until you get right to the end and then you'll just need another bit of sellotape to, or you can tie it off at the end. Just cut, cut the wool and sellotape that bit at the end and that's your weaving frame that you can use. And you can go around the garden and collect different materials to weave in and out. So if you go over under, over, under, all the way through. And then the next one, bit of material that you pop in, you do it the opposite way. So let's just see what I can find. Just a bit of a stick there. There we go. So you've gone, well, I've gone under this time, so I'm going to go over, under, over, under, over, under. And then you start to build up different materials that you can find around the garden. You can put wool in there as well, but it's quite nice to put some natural materials in there. And then you might end up with something like this. They don't all have to be long and thin. You can choose different shapes and flowers to weave in and out. I've got some different flowers, different shaped leaves in there. Some are spiky. So that's one way of doing this. Another way of doing this is to make your own little weaving frame. Now it doesn't have to be perfect. I've made this out of some very basic bits of wood that I've cut down off uh, this plant over here. And as you can see, I've made a rough square and then I've just wound the wool all the way around the outside. So put that on the, on the side here. Then collected some different materials that I found in the garden. Make sure if you're doing this, you ask permission to collect whatever you around the garden. So again, just weave it in and out and see how it fits into your frame. So I've got another bit here that can go in and out. There's a feather, some feathers here. If you're lucky enough to find some feathers in your garden. You can start to build up your picture frame like this. So you've got lots of different textures, materials in there. You might want to use a mixture of wool and bits of material that you've got, or you might want to have a good look around the garden and see what kind of things you can use to put into your frame. So there's, di there's different ways of doing this. So you could do a frame like this or you can do a simple weaving frame like this. Whatever you've got, have a go at using it. So explore your garden and make your own little picture. Okay, I hope you enjoyed making your little weaving frames, uh, whichever ones you decided to use. Um, I've put a little pipe cleaner or a bit of string on the back of it and then you can hang it up somewhere. So perhaps hang it up on the tree or somewhere inside for everyone to enjoy. Make sure when you're finished, you go and wash your hands because you've been exploring nature. So I hope you've enjoyed today. I'll see you next time for another garden challenge. Bye!